Alright then, it's time for episode 6 of my Technic Let's Play. So, let's play! Eventually. Maybe? I suppose we could stare at a loading screen, too. Ha! I lied. No one wants to stare at a loading screen. You fell for it. I'm out of sword. Again. I'll go punch it with its own meat. Ow. Uh... If you if you saw a couple of signs where I hit it but it didn't do damage, it's because it actually didn't do damage. There is actually a momentary hit immunity to damage when you're hit, which can be really annoying when fighting a horde of zombies. Let's see. I have a large amount of meat now, so running should be fine. Actually, how am I on seeds? 21? Come on. Come on, more seeds. More seeds. I don't want flowers. Oh, I'll grab the sugar cane while I'm here, replant it. Once again, with Domcraft and Mistcraft, you will never have enough sugar cane. Ever. Okay. That's interesting. Or not? Oh, something for a nice, like, you know, easy, wa easy to make el water elevator down to a cave. Okay. Is that all the sugar cane? Yeah. That's the first obelisk that I found. Those are the trees. Oh no, more sugar cane here. Oh, and snakes are plenty. I do not want to try to take on those snakes without a sword. Oh, and it's already midday. Brilliant. Okay. I believe I go this way. No, because there's a nice huge rubber tree right there that I never found. Maybe? Oh, this sucks. Am I seriously gonna have to rewatch my own video just to find where my base is? Oh. Oh, right. if I go to Obelisk 2. Uh, and I should. I need to remember to grab some birch saplings because. Birch? And actually, I don't think there's an and. Birch is the only tree that will not randomly create those super massive monstrosities. Which I suppose doesn't, or, which doesn't matter when you have something that pops in trees again. But uh. What was the butt? Oh yeah, but um, it makes them really bad. F There's fire there. It makes them really bad for uh, for using in automatic tree farms.
and I'll use that to get obsidian so I d so I don't end up wasting tin on lava on um, cells or you know. Whoa! Come on. Let's see, slime's gone. Is that my forest? Yeah, I think that's my forest. Let's see, shark. Dang. I really want to avoid the shark because I don't have a sword. Okay. I think this is my tr volcano I was going to do. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know where you went, but you can drown. Yeah. There we go. It's all the sugar cane. And I'm pretty much going to surround the whole place with them. I suppose I could use the industrial craft crops. Um, they are cool, and breeding the industrial craft agriculture in general is a really interesting part of the game that I really hope stays with the next update but it's also so not something you can like set up and leave you have to constantly babysit and lag placing one on top what is Ah, oh, those are more fish. I'm going to need a squid soon, cause, because the very, very first part of Thongcraft, as the most basic thing, is called a Quasentium. Now, Quasentium, not water, huh? Let's see. Quasentium uses ink sac, glass bottle feathers, along with gold and stone. That's what you use when researching. When researching items for the Thumbcraft's discoveries. Um, I've seen a tip where you have one boosted Quasentium surrounded by brain in jars for discoveries and one on its own for like cobblestone and stuff. Uh, I don't see too much of a point in that. I mean, honestly, it's not that important. Or, okay, the quadrantium itself is important, but having something to grind, having a separate one for discovery is just not that important. Wow, I actually planted all the sugar cane. Okay. I want to get my shovel out and finish flattening this. Uh, that's a mouse, isn't it? I don't know if these eat if those eat plants or not. Oh yeah, I got an iron bar from a zombie too. Uh, Thirty six seeds. Ooh. Let's see, got the no. I keep that because I'm gonna cook it. Dump the I need to plant those. That that that. No, I'm just gonna cook that, gonna craft that. There we go. Should oh, I should put my iron ore in. Oh. Okay, first up. The Ugg boot. The Ugg boots. 
Wow, those are actually, like, leggings. Okay, then. Second. More sword. And... Furnace. I do not have charcoal. Okay. Remember, one plank is one and a half items, so two is three. So actually, if I do that, then use two of the charcoal to make torches. That's why I used to get clay. Cool. Uh, foxes will... Not sure if they still drop leather or if they actually drop fur now. But the point is, there's no real point in killing them. Let's see... Uh, not big enough. What are you doing? Get away from me. Okay. This is kind of annoying. There we go, then. I suppose that works. Mm. And it doesn't hurt that I'm getting sand for more glass, but... I really should have chosen this area better. Let's see... Okay. And thanks to the Entities Radar, I don't have to worry about stuff sneaking up on me as long as I pay attention. Okay. Seriously? Just throw, did I just throw one of my foods? That goes off the action bar. Okay. Dig out this. There we go. And that's the nine saplings planted. Hopefully they'll grow soon. Okay. I did not make a stone hoe. Hmm. Oh, that's right, because I was just made pick and focus on the swords. Come on. Yay, another brain. It's good, I could use a spare, a spare brain. Okay, back to flattening this. I know, I was farming. Come on. This is part of farming. Doing it something absolutely unrelated is part of farming. Okay.
There we go, torches. Oh. I'm gonna need food faster than I have to get coal. More furnaces. And I totally used up too much stone. So now I can't make a hoe. Brilliant. Hey, okay. Let's see, that's six. Six and eight, that's 48, so. There we go. Actually, there we go. That's two. So, chicken. That's a full stack of sand. I suppose I should make a bed. Cook some steak. Okay, how big is this? Being from here, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Nine one. Oh. Two. Three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I do thirteen wide, yeah. Okay. If I do thirteen wide, that would be one, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen wide and then like one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now now what I just now thirteen by eight uses the golden ratio is using the golden ratio which is the ideal ratio of you know, for sizes in a cube building or you would also recognize it as part of I can never pronounce the name right Fibonacci Fibonacci whatever basically it's zero zero plus one so one so usually it starts at one, of course. Um, one, one and zero, one, one and one is two, one and two is three, two and three is five, three and five is eight, and eight and five is thirteen, and so on and so forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one. Okay. Well, if that's done, I can build up the house. Yay, chicken! And I have two raw left. Put two in there and just watch it. There we go.
Come on. Kind of annoyed that there isn't a snow biome near me, near me because um, the wood is nice and dark and makes a great border texture. And oh, it's daytime, so it's time to cut this out. Bye.